Uh, clouds have arrived and we're tracking an active weather pattern. Mm. I know we've been talking about mm -hmm. the last couple of days, the threat for heavy rain. I'm going to show you this first graphic. I don't want you to find your hometown and focus on the specific number. What I want you to look at the area in green. We're going to forecast one to maybe three inches of rain north of there and all indications are it is going to be across the northern third of the state. We could have some rainfall totals three to five inches. Wow. So this is uh, going to be a time for you to stay weather aware. All the way from tonight through the middle part of next week, we're going to be dealing with an off and on active weather pattern. National Weather Service has already put the northwestern part of the state under a flash flood watch that goes from 9 o'clock tonight through Saturday morning. We may have additional counties go under a flash flood watch and we may get some warnings uh, not even in the watch, but associated with thunderstorms that produce some heavy rain. So very active weather pattern to track. This is live Doppler 13 radar and it is rather stormy across the western part of the state from near Terre Haute up to Clinton into Rockville. This is going to come only so far east before it falls apart. I don't at this point think it reaches Indianapolis, but if you are to the west, we're going to be tracking this weakening area of rain and storms. We do have some rain between Attica and Lafayette up toward Fowler, and really this is just the beginning. Now the threat for severe weather is back to our west tonight. You can see it from Springfield, Illinois, back through Kansas City. It includes St. Louis and Des Moines. That threat for severe weather does move our way for tomorrow. Tomorrow includes all of central Indiana at a one, except for the western part of the state. We're going to be at a two. The storms we're tracking now will leave a boundary, and that boundary will be the trigger for more showers and thunderstorms, not only tonight, but tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. This is Future Track 13 at 4 a.m. on Friday. We have rain to kick off our Friday morning. Keep the umbrellas handy. Our weather app as well will help you because I do think there will be some dry hours the middle part of the day before we have an additional complex of thunderstorms developing. This is going to keep us in and out of a very active weather pattern, not only tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, but right on through the early part of the weekend. Now we are forecasting that to shift a little farther north, so that will mean a better chance for some dry hours Saturday and Sunday. Very similar setup to last Friday, Saturday, Sunday, where we had the majority of the heavy rain and storms on Friday, and then we get some dry hours and a warm and muggy weekend. 82 tomorrow with scattered showers and storms. Some of that rain will be heavy at times that could lead to localized flooding. We may have some damaging winds associated with those storms Friday as well. 88 degrees both Saturday and Sunday with a storm chance. Active weather pattern all the way through the seven-day forecast. Yeah, that is a busy week of weather. Angela, thanks.